Hello and welcome to the part two of the um, chat server chat program tutorial. Um, we're in the chat server project here, in the chat server class, and uh, we're gonna create some stuff here. So um, go up here, and we're gonna do server sock socket socket and import that and socket socket and import that too uh, for some reason oh rename this to ss socket okay so now uh, go in here into the constructor and we're gonna do uh, ss socket is equal to new server socket and name this to localhost and uh, a port actually you don't need localhost you just need a port so I'm gonna do 25568 uh, you can do whatever you want there and we're gonna surround with try and catch and we're gonna do socket is equal to uh, basically, we're setting up the server now so that it can connect with clients uh, and so that clients can connect to the server. And a socket is the client, and a socket is the server socket. Okay, so socket is equal to uh, socket.accept. So it will wait for a client to join and it will accept it. And now uh, we're going to need some other stuff here. Uh, print writer uh, out is equal uh, no just do it like that and uh, buffered reader in import okay now we're gonna do new thread new runnable uh, sorry and just hold on this one and Add unimplemented methods and put these uh, columns here too. There we go, and also do dot start. So now in here, uh, no, before the thread, we're going to do. Uh, actually, we don't need that. I think just do uh, out. No, we need to do this. I think uh, print writer is equal to uh, no print sorry sorry guys out is equal to new print writer uh, socket dot get uh, output stream and do true here so that it auto flushes uh, you don't need to know why but just do that it's best that way and in is equal to new buffered reader uh, new input stream reader and socket dot get input stream and import everything there we go and in here we're gonna do uh, <laughs> print writer i is equal to uh, no print writer o is equal to out and buffered reader i is equal to in there we go so now uh, uh, this is where we get stuff from the client and write stuff to the client so uh, when the client connects we can do o dot uh, print l n Welcome to the server. Great. So now when the client connects, it will receive a message, Welcome to the server. Uh, great. So uh, I think, yeah, uh, and here you need to do uh, while true, it will continue doing this because otherwise uh, there will not be able to join more than one client. So put a while true loop here. And we should be fine, I think. So if we start this server, 
shouldn't throw any errors, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, it actually does. Uh, it's because we need to do uh, a separate thread here. So just do uh, new thread, new runnable, and just add unemployed methods. Oh, sorry. In here also we need to do uh, we need to do a while true thing here. But this one we can put uh, here. Just have that while through there. We won't do anything there right now, but just have it there. And we're gonna do dot start. And in here we're gonna do while while sorry while true. It needs to be in a separate thread or else the program will freeze. So that is why. So just copy everything here and put that inside of this uh, thread and I think we should be yeah we need to add this around with try and catch stuff here so just drag this inside of the try and catch brackets here uh, okay this is a big mess right now so let's redo what it was and we need to copy this thing and also this thing put it inside of the try and catch and there we go and we should be fine I think so if we start this now uh, we should be fine yeah the server is started and there is no errors okay awesome so yeah um, in the next video we're gonna set up the uh, the client. Uh, we're basically kind of done with the connection thing in the server, but uh, it cannot handle messages yet, so we will add it in the next video, I think. So let's go through what we've done. We have a console class which contains the actual window and the text thing, and we have the server class here, which has a so server socket and a socket and some print writers and buffered readers and it has the console in it and when it starts it will uh, instantiate a new server here and it will write your server server started and when it does that it will go through the uh, constructor here uh, and it will create a new uh, server socket with these ports this port and it will instantiate a new thread here uh, which will uh, accept connections from clients and it will create uh, uh, outputs and inputs uh, to that uh, client and then it will create a thread for that specific client which will handle messages from the client and print stuff to the client and it started to thunder outside my house now so I gotta go but I'll see you in the next video